Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's video. I know, I know, I know. Your girl's been bombarding you with videos, but that's because I got stuck in an editing loop with my software. So I finally got the videos that I needed to get up. So welcome to this week's vlog, guys. I want you to stay tuned because in this week's vlog, I am going to be trying my hardest to pull myself out of a funk because you know sometimes you just you know it just happens you just get into a funk um i'm also getting ready for a procedure that is taking place on monday so you guys will follow me um for some of the prep steps for that as well as um to the hospital for the procedure but don't worry i'm okay I'm good. Look, look at me. I'm smiling. Anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic week. And thanks again for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And make sure you turn on the notification bell so you get all of my videos. I love all your comments. And I'm so happy for all the new subscribers. Welcome. Just so you know, you're always going to be my babies. Anyway, let's watch the video now. I don't girl. care. You're so cute. Okay, and whatever. <laughs> hey. hey, girl. Alright, guys. So, something was going on with my audio in this section here of the store. So, I'll just catch you up real quick. First of all, this is Saturday, and this is the day before I have to stop eating for my colonoscopy prep. So, hubby dear suggested I get anything I wanted, and my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to eat is crab legs. So, I am headed to Kroger's here, and I'm just kind of shopping around, grabbing the items I need for this special um, crab leg, I don't know, butter I make. Um, it is inspired by Bee Loves. If you know, you know. Um, so I'm just grabbing the ingredients from that. I'm going to grab some crab legs and butter for Ray. Uh, we also wanted some shrimp and fries that day for lunch. So I'm going to grab that as well. Um, but you already know it's Saturday and Kroger's. There's a million people here. So I didn't really record as much as I would like. I want to just kind of show you some of the ingredients that I get. But nevertheless, if you guys are interested in that recipe, um, please drop a comment below. Alright, hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. Let's go ahead and check in. Alright, you guys, what's up? I'm back. I'm leaving Kroger's now. It's a madhouse. This is probably the biggest, busiest Kroger's I've ever gone to. Like ever in any state. I lived in a neighborhood that had a Kroger's at the top of the hill literally like a, not even a not even a block not even a block away from my house we could walk to across the street and go to Kroger's and it was in the middle of like a suburban neighborhood and I promise you it wasn't as busy as this one this is the busiest Kroger's in America they make it money it's busy enough that we um, I was there last night and the championship trophy from um from the uh from our football players you know university of michigan they was it was there to take pictures with i'm not big into oh let me go i wasn't going this way why did i say i was going right i don't know that's so fucking weird to take yourself out of the way it's a weird thing to do i i guess i'm here for it i'm here with you what's up you guys i have on that um color changing lip oil from um, Glam Cosmetics. 
and I just put a little lip liner on. I had some gloss on a little bit earlier, but this this color, this pink on my lips, is giving natural. It's giving, oh, you were just a spring chicken. Oh, you've never smoked a day in your life. Oh. Anyway, concentrate, Mimi. Back to the prep, because that's literally what I was talking about in the store, but again, the store was so busy, and the people were talking to me, so... You know how that goes when you're in a store, people are like, oh, I love your hair, or you're so pretty. No, I'm joking, I didn't say that. <laughs> I love my hair. I feel pretty today. I'm actually having a very good day. Um, I got up this morning, woke Nani up, because she had her sleepover doctor off, because so I want her to get up to her chores before she went, get a room clean, that kind of stuff. So all that was done, we got the house. The floors are done, everything is nice and clean. And then I started my fucking period. I'm not even gonna let it rain on my parade, baby, because I got me some chocolates, some chocolates, and I'm going to eat them, and they're gonna be delicious. And I got some crab legs, I'm gonna eat them, and they're gonna be delicious. And I got some butterfly shrimp, and I'm gonna eat them, and they're gonna be delicioso. Yo, so good. But midnight tonight, and I'm, I'm hoping to be asleep before then, because I don't like staying up and can't like snack. I get snacky. So after midnight tonight, I can have no food. All Sunday, no food, zero, zero, zero food. Only um, broth, jello, like clear, like liquid stuff. Broth, jello, water. I can have like cranberry juice, apple juice. But then I have to drink this, like, it's like, may, not me, like, Malanta, I think is what it is. Anyway, and then like, the Gatorade and I have to take a laxative. It's just a whole lot. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in the bathroom. You guys won't see me tomorrow. You probably won't see me Monday either. We'll holler back on Tuesday when I'm back to my normal self. So, so I have to do all this prep before. So I'm just really thankful that I, I have a husband that is willing to willing to see that this is going to be hard for me and you know be there by my side like I fast anyway I do intermittent fasting so I'll go all the way to two o'clock without eating but then I'm hungry right and then I eat my dinner so this is will be a little different this is like all day all night and even when I was younger when we used to fast for Lent we wouldn't eat until the sun went down so like I'm used to fasting. I'm I am used to going long stretches without eating. So that part's not gonna be so bad. I've never not ate for a whole entire day. I've always had something. So I made sure to get some fun jello flavors so that it so it feels like I'm eating. I got um watermelon and the all pink. Um and we got some broth, we got some juice, but today it's going down today is going down so i got some snacks and stuff like that hubby is on the game i'm hoping he'll get off the game and he started this show yesterday and it is so good it's called them it's on the um epics channel i believe uh we are on episode three and you know i always say i tell you guys give a show three episodes to see if you really like it because sometimes the first episode is just slow because you're really just being introduced to the characters the second episode is kind of when you start to see the conflict and what the issue may be or whatever the drama um and then the third episode is kind of when you start to see the flow of the show and that's when you're going to know if you're going to like it or not so even if a show starts slow just know that they're building a storyline and those first three episodes are super important to any series the series can be on for 20 years based off of the first three freaking episodes. I said it, Mignon said it, Mimi said it. I don't know if anybody else has said it, but I've said it. And so if you hear it anywhere else, say, hey, I heard Mimi said this before, because it's the truth. I always have a three episode rule for any new show that I'm watching. And if I can't get in by the third episode, you, you won't see me again. You just won't see me again. <laughs> and I'm like that too with shows that are older. Like we have um, shows like uh, Law & Order SVU or even Grey's Anatomy. If a new season comes up and then the first three episodes in the season 
are you know like the first one or two episodes it's kind of slow usually it's not because most of these shows kind of leave on this cliffhanger but again longer shows the they start running out of show ideas so sometimes you i'll watch a show that's been on for like five six years and then you know all of a sudden where's the storyline um i forget what season i was on on blacklist blacklist is an amazing freaking show it's a freaking amazing show but i started to like where are we going and so i fell off and i'm sure they might have picked up and the episodes might have gotten a little better i might revisit it because i really did like i really did like it like this was a very good show but anyway i digress i'm hoping to get into some tv today some shows some snacks and just enjoy my husband uh, while my daughter is gone pick her up tomorrow Lindsay's. and yeah just sorry y'all just be moi all right they're giving us a little bit more all right so i have to go upstairs and get the cart because my stupid silly self forgot it so i'm just gonna go upstairs and grab it and then i'm gonna come back down and grab the groceries look at that it took me seven minutes and 44 seconds to get home that's how close i am to that croakers and that's something in like eight minutes all right, guys, hopefully you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And just pray for your girl. Just put a little prayer up there that we figure out why I have some of these stomach issues. Um, and that I, I'm healed. I love you guys. Make sure you tell somebody you love them. Bye. Which one? I got strong legs. That's crazy. Ooh. Ooh, we it's nothing to do. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, that's it. I love shooting that. That's nasty. That's 20 rounds. It's $21.99. and my EGD, so I'm getting ready to put this on. Okay, I'll be right back. Y'all. I'm going to tell you about the prep and everything tomorrow when I get home and I have my life about me. <laughs> this been some shit. and that's a shit. Anyway, I'm at the University of Michigan Hospital. It's very pretty here today. It's really cold.
that's it. I'm going to open up it. And like you said, get this show on the road. Ugh. All right, you guys. I'm ready. I'm so hungry. It's a couple of crab legs at the house. I'm fucking them up. And then Raymond is going through a whole emotion of food that he wants. I just want to give a shout out to my husband for really doing this with me. When I had to stop eating on Saturday night, he stopped with me. And he hasn't ate anything since Saturday. And like I said, it's Monday. My procedure is going to be another three to four hours. So by the time we get out of here, it's going to be like three o'clock. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks, honey, for being my support. Right. See you guys after. What's up? What's up? What's up, my babies? Happy V Day! It's Valentine's Day. It is Wednesday, February fourteenth. I'm just sitting at the dispensary waiting for my order, but I wanted to jump on because this light is giving everything. Hold that thought. <laughs> yeah. We always get that. We did. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I absolutely love the people in my neighborhood. <laughs> it's the truth. I really do. I am the type of person like me and the leasing agent office um, manager. We're really cool. And like, I don't know. I am a Leo and I know it's very cliche that to say like, you know, people genuinely flock to Leos and they like our personalities because honestly, we aren't trouble. I forgot. This is why I came on here. Look at my skin. Their lighting in this sun is gorgeous. It's giving me Gorgina, beautiful, hydrated, help, happy, healthy skin. I had two breakouts from my period this month, right here, two dark spots. So the rest of the spots are pretty much faded from that turmeric and lemon kojic acid soap. So, since you guys really love that review and I have two new um, acne dark spots. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, order another brand of the soap. I'm gonna do a little bit more um, research this time around. I want to actually pick um, a company that is uh, black owned or um, a Latino owned only because you know there's certain um, color skin discoloration issues that each ethnicity has so you know there's certain things that I like in my soap and I'm going to say the one thing I, if I had to critique this soap and say is that it is drying okay it is it is pretty it is pretty drying um so you definitely want to use a moisturizer uh, immediately afterwards um something that's like i use a cream moisturizer something that can like sit on the skin and kind of soak in and i'm not having any issues i haven't had any breakouts except for the two and i'm telling you they were pin pin size breakouts two one two pin Si like pinhead size tiny itty bitty i'm used to monsters you understand what i'm saying big ass who who let the dogs out fucking eruptions on my face you know what i'm saying but yeah I, i'm i'm very imp impressed <laughs> i'm very impressed and i'm so impressive with my skin but my daughter's skin is really clearing up very well as well um, she's still getting some breakouts here and there, but again, she has hormonal acne, so that's kind of to be expected. She's 10, almost 11 now, so that's kind of to be expected, but um, yeah, I'm going to try out some more soap products, um, or I'll say another brand. I should say and then I'm looking into um, a scrub because I definitely want to start using it like on my body because I have some stretch marks and you know um, skin discoloration from just having four freaking kids uh, yeah four um, four uno de dos tres cuatro four of them so you know I have battle wounds from being a mama so those are things that kind of concern me but I <laughs> And my lips. Can we take a moment and give a shout out to my lips? Let's talk about Boss Up Cosmetics Lip Scrub and Lip Mask. I'm a 
addicted to the lip masks. When you put that choker on your mouth, it feels different. It feels hydrated. It feels soft, like satin. It's so good. The lip scrub, eh, lip scrubs are lip scrubs. You like one, you like them all. You can make your own lip scrubs. I probably wouldn't buy another one. I honestly do like doing a a coffee grind, um, coffee ground in like a sugar and um, I usually put like um, some turmeric in that too and I'll do that as a scrub. Works just about the same. Um, light on the coffee grinds. I use coffee because I like the caffeine. It kind of stimulates. Your, I, I, I'll do the scrub on my face too, but I also do it on my lips. But it, the the coffee grinds kind of stimulate, you know, the the, the skin cells. It kind of boosts it up, awakens it. So, and usually I use my fresh ones. So I just made my coffee so nice and warm, and it just feels nice. But yeah, that's that's kind of the thing. But the lip mask from Boss Up Cosmetics, 100% recommend. I love it. It has like a a whipped kind of texture um very light very airy smells good not a taste but it feels good and my lips have never looked better okay i don't have on the lip um oil the, the changing lip changing oil right now but i'm uh, being a red light i can try it <laughs> it is so pretty though i do like the the um lip stain lip changing oil this lip stain it's nice it's very um soft and light it's like it's thick enough that it coats so you know but it gives immediate like, I'm not gonna go heavy on it today because I'm like not wearing any makeup. Um, I like this whole natural look, but look how it just instantly gave my lips a flush of pink, right? So it livened them up a little bit. <laughs> Hold on, let me take a picture. Because the light is lighting right here. This is where the light is lighting. <laughs> Come on, sun, give me some energy. You guys, being a Leo and just loving the sun, I, I'm born in August, August 1st Leo. I love summer, I love warmth, I love the sun. It's like my favorite thing. My husband teased me for many, many years because I sit out and I tan. I just love to feel the sun's hotness on my skin. Freaking love it. Freaking love it, like it's my favorite thing. I don't do it anymore. I was young. No, I didn't use sunscreen. I was young, but I'm smarter now. <laughs> and I do use sunscreen if I'm out there, but I haven't. The way the way that Michigan is set up, baby, uh, ain't no sun in Michigan. You see it, you don't feel it. There's no warmth in this. Summer will come and go, and we be like, ooh, it's a hot one today. And it's like 80 degrees, barely, y'all. Barely! And we are struggling with the air conditioning because it's like, it's cool. So you don't want to cut it off. You don't want to cut it on because you don't know what the weather is going to be in Michigan. It's, a, it's just too much. It's just autom automatically too much. Automatically too much. And in Georgia, oh, baby. <laughs> you thought you was getting off the hook? Your summers be uh, borderline, uh, almost a ninth level of hell. Jesus, the day that me and Raymond got married was September 7th, 2006. And it was 117 degrees that day. And that, my friend, is not a black people exaggeration. You know how black people sometimes be like, oh, it was like 50, 11 people there. And it was like maybe 20 you know but that's still a lot of people so it's more than you know a couple more than a few it was 50 11 of them right mm -hmm. or you can be like oh it's hot as hell outside it was like a hundred thousand degrees outside you know that's an, a black people exaggeration this is the truth it was 117 degrees before i walked to my husband to marry him on september 17 2006 baby <laughs> the sun was about six 
fucking inches from the back of my head. I was crying from being, you know, emotional getting married, but I also was sweating. So I looked like I was a greasy, drippy goop. Oh, child. Summers in Georgia is a mug. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. Georgia summers is hot. Ugh. Like, it's so hot in Georgia. I notice, like, I notice how people move in Michigan, how people move in Georgia. So, in Georgia, it's so hot in the summertime, people walk slow. Like, everybody be like, oh, everybody's so slow down south. It's like, you don't get, you know, bored because of how slow the pace and, and no, it's not because they want to be slow. It's too fucking hot to move fast. You will die of a heat stroke. You have to take your time, okay? And go somewhere southern in the in the summertime. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me in the comments. Tell me I'm lying. Go somewhere in the summer in the south and notice how slow people walk. It's because it's so hot. You have no energy. You are out. Uh, the you drain. You could drink a fifty thousand ton. See, that's color people exaggerating again. A fifty thousand ton bottle of Gatorade and you will still be dehydrated trying to walk from your car to the Walmart door because you lost a pound and a half of uh, sweat because it's so hot in Georgia. It's cold in Michigan in the summer, hot as hell in Georgia in the summer. Now in Michigan, the way people move is different because it's so damn cold. We move real fast. We're trying to get from our car to the door in 2.3 seconds. It is 39 degrees right now. That's not freezing, but if it was negative 39, which it can be in Michigan, you move it like grease lightning. And because it's ice, you're moving quick and in a very strategic fashion. <laughs> so you don't bust your ass, okay? I'm just saying. The way people move outside of their homes is based on the weather pattern outside. Fight me about it, please. Please, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, I hope you're having a fantastic Valentine's Day. I just got my order from the dispensary. They were having a freaking sale on edibles. It was five for 16 bucks. And they're 200 milligrams each. And that is a, like an amazing deal. So I got that. <laughs> Along with some flour. And yeah. Happy Valentine's Day to me. And my girl, who I was just talking to, every time I come there, she's she always, like, she's just so positive, and she always is glowing, and she gives the best compliments, but not just to me, like, to everybody. I've seen her just be an amazing, sweet person to everybody. So, she brought me a little 30% off coupon, which is really sweet, and a Hershey's Kiss for Valentine's Day, which literally is the only card and candy I got this year. Nothing. <laughs> All right, I'm home. So I'm going in. I don't know. We had, um, I think that was, uh, it was fish. <laughs> I don't know what kind of fish it was. It was very soft. So I'm assuming it was catfish fillets. Um, Raymond made cabbage and greens. Um, it's a, also a southern thing. I don't know if you know that, I guess. Like, they, like, mix their cabbage and their greens together when they cook it, which is so fucking good. And um, some corn. But because I still couldn't swallow from my um, procedure I had on Monday, it it burns so bad. So, I'm still drinking water trying to mm, lubricate my throat here. But, yeah. Good morning, guys. I hope you have a good hump day.